Hello everyone, just wanted to update you on the tank. Everything is going good again. I lost a couple of fish only because food source for them didn't go so well, unfortunately. But pH level is back to normal. Uh, the stamsel is doing amazing. Uh, the shrimp is doing good. I have a couple of clownfish coming in the mail uh, tomorrow. I'm hoping I will be able to show you a video of them. I got some new coral from Tidal Gardens. You can see them right there, the Blasto, the Favia, and the Xenia. Um, they're doing good actually in the tank. Those are the Zoas are doing awesome also there as you can tell. I had to add more stone kind of near them so they kind of grow on their own island. Uh, the Acans are doing awesome. Now one of the Acans in the back, I don't know what exactly is going on. But hopefully he'll be doing better soon anyways. Um, I glued some GSB on the back wall. I seen it on inappropriate reefers and I thought it was really cool. So anyway, it's only been since, since September 17th, I think, since I bought the new coral. I bought them from Tidal Gardens and this thing's already growing. It's crazy. They weren't joking about growth. That's a piece of Favia right there just try something different see if it will even grow there and the duncan coral as you can tell is doing really really good but i just want to let you guys kind of enjoy the tank here a little bit Here is that slug that I was talking about, and there's the name right there below. I'm not gonna even try to say it. I've tried multiple times and cannot say it correctly. Um, anyway, this slug is amazing. I had about three of them in here, and they took care of all the Aptasia. I've tried zapping the Aptasia, I've tried lemon juice, I've tried everything, and it just, I can't get rid of it. So finally, a friend of mine, actually someone on Facebook, that I've been talking with and he told me to get these slugs he said they work amazing you might not see results right away but you will get rid of your aptasia growth and sure enough this slug did the trick I had three of them in there and I do see them once in a great while come up on the glass like that they're kind of cool looking they kind of look like a porcupine you know um, but anyway yeah that's honestly I would highly recommend if you have aptasia to get one of these guys So the cool thing is this GSP, they were not joking. This stuff grows so fast. I got it September 17th and I glued it to the wall only because like I said, I seen it on an appropriate reefers video. One of his tanks looked just beautiful with this stuff on there. I know it can grow out of control, but I am gonna try to tame it, kind of cut out the access where when it starts climbing on the other sides of the walls. But other than that, I'm going to let this grow and kind of cover my whole wall. I think it would just be really cool looking. I'm hoping it won't sting my Duncan coral too much. If it does, I might have to move my Duncan coral over. But it is kind of cool. It looks like it's melting to the wall. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I think it just looks so cool looking. Anyway, I just wanted to just show you how fast it grew since September. So here are the two new clowns, um, I hope you guys enjoy them, but my next video will be with me traveling, I want to take you guys on a trip with me and hopefully show you some cool aquariums on this trip and some sightseeing and everything else, underwater stuff. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoy, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys soon.